Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Relation. I'm going to do a quick video on how strong Vegito really is. And it's going to be taking cues from the manga and a little bit of outside information. So let's get right into this. So the first thing I'd like to mention is kind of going over what his base form range could be in. It's a little bit hard to pinpoint. But when Goku was originally going to fuse with Gohan to form quote unquote Gokan as many fans have dubbed him the Elder Kai stated when Goku was saying he wanted to use Super Saiyan he says if you want to go Super Saiyan you can do it afterwards but I don't think you're going to need it you should be able to beat him without it that was referring to Boo Tanks Boo Super Boo with Go Tanks and Piccolo absorbed this tells me that there is a chance that base Go Khan, not Vegito, Go Khan could be a bit stronger than uh, Boo Tanks. Maybe not because the other Kai wasn't 100% sure, but I think it's safe to put the base form of that character around that realm. Going off of the Daizenshu 7 for the super exciting guides, it states that the Patara Fusion is a multiplier of the two Fuse's powers, A times B. It's a little bit weird because the math doesn't quite add up with that. Dragon Ball is never really good when you apply math to it though. It does definitely contradict things because if you multiply Goku's base by ultimate slash mystic Gohan, that would equate to much stronger than Bootengs, I would think. So even though the Daizenshu is quote unquote official, I do take that bit with a grain of salt because I think that the uh, the fact that they say it multiplies A and B A being Goku, B being Gohan I think that's a bit of a stretch in my opinion but I think it's safe to say that they should be able to be around Bootanks' level at least in their base now as for Vegito, that's the big question here that we all want to know I think Vegito uh, when the Elder Kai did see Vegito uh, and again, the whole thing where base Vegito fights Buhan, that is only anime filler, is not in the manga whatsoever. They never fought in his base form. He went straight to Super Saiyan, and I think he went straight to Super Saiyan because he had to. Um, even though he was trashing Buhan, I don't think he could have taken Buhan in his base form. Regardless of if the math of the, the fusion formula would add up or not, because that thing has seems to have some flaws itself. Now one thing to note, since I think that he would be weaker than Buhan in his base, in my opinion at least, one thing that the Elder Kai did state is that when they fuse, their fusion is made even stronger because they're rivals. Their fusion, not comparing the fusion before, but Vegito himself saying that if Vegito was the same fusion but Goku and Vegito weren't rivals, it would be a weaker fusion, but since they are that specific character, Vegito is now stronger because of that fusion this would not be stronger than go Khan, especially considering how much stronger Gohan is than both Goku and Vegeta it wouldn't make a lot of sense now I think I could put Vegito around the level of and it sounds really crazy but when I get down and think of it it's the only place I could possibly put him because of the way the Elder Kai was saying about go Khan. maybe he underestimated go Khan, but if he thinks he could beat Boo in his base uh, Boo tanks I think I could put Vegito a little bit above uh, Ultimate Gohan, but that's honestly where I would put him, and I can't see a whole lot to contradict it, but that's where I would put him, and then if you want to use the Super Saiyan multipliers, 50 times base, Super Saiyan 2 is 100 times base, Super Saiyan 3 400 times base, you can get a gauge of how strong Vegito would be. It does sound a bit crazy, and there is a theory out there that Super Saiyan forms got diluted throughout the years. We don't really know. There's also a theory that they're stronger as fusions, so you can maybe put those in if you really want, but there's no official sources to state that. So that's been my video for today, guys. Obviously, you know, I stated what his base form was, and you can just apply your natural transformations on top of that. Um, pretty much making him definitely, I would say, weaker than Beerus. Uh, he definitely is a very powerful warrior, though. That is not, not to be trifled with. He is a very strong warrior. Uh, but I thank you all for watching, and... I'll catch you later.